Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you another tutorial. Um, this time it's going to be on how to let other people join your server like friends and just basically random people. How you advertise it's up to you. Um, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is of course have a bucket server. If you don't have a bucket server, something giant should pop up on the screen and say click me. Okay, um, what you're going to want to do is go to your start, press run, cmd and then you're going to want to type IP config. Uh, this will pop up, um, all this yada yada. Uh, this is probably going to be marked out for um, you know safety purposes. Um, but you want your IP uh, v4 address and your default gateway. So you can write both of those down uh, in notepad or whatever. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to want to open your internet browser or whatever browser you have and paste your default gateway and this will pop up it'll e you'll either pop up on your website or you'll pop up um, it'll pop up here before you get to the website and it'll ask you for a username and password to try to get onto your modem now your modem's going to be a few things you're either going to have a set password um, or you're not going to have a set password um, the username usually always is admin by default um, uh, so you can either try a few combinations you can try admin and then passwords password or admin nothing or nothing nothing uh, but sometimes your password will be changed like uh, if your parents change your password or whatever then you can go ask them so it'll be like admin and then whatever your password is so anyway once you try those combinations or figure it out you log in uh, as you can see, this is my modem. I have Netgear. So, what you want to look forward, uh, look for on your page is port forwarding, uh, which mine is right here, and your server should pop up somewhere on it. Um, I'm just gonna click on it and edit, uh, edit it. Page on it turns a few pages in three seconds. Okay, let me select it. There we go. Okay, so I selected it, and now I can edit it. Um, for your IP address, let's start with the bottom first. For the IP address, you're going to want to type in your IPv4, uh, and that will let people um, that will uh, link it to your Minecraft server. The starting port and ending port is always going to want to be two uh, five five six five. If you changed just don't change the 25565 in the uh, server folder. So just leave it all 25565 because that's the default of Minecraft. Um, turn, okay. Um, your service type is going to want to be tcp.udp. Um, so both of them. Uh, then after that, just hit apply. And you want to select it. And you'll either, um, there'll be like a save button or um, a log out button like this so just make sure you have it selected uh, so that's working and then log out or select it make sure it's selected because if it's not selected right here it won't work and then um, you want to make sure it's on port forwarding okay so once you have that you just log out okay goodbye okay now what you want to give to people so they can join your server You're gonna want to go to either IP chicken or what's my IP dot org that's what I go to and you click this and this will be blacked out too but this is what you want to give people to uh, be able to join your server it'll say your IP address right here it'll say your IP address the first thing and that is what you want to give to people to be able to join your server thanks for watching guys um, if this helped you at all, um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or con uh, concerns, put them down in the um, comment box below, and I'll be sure to get to as many as I can. Uh, thanks for watching. If you um, want to keep up to date with um, all my videos and tutorials and Minecraft, um, subscribe, maybe. Uh, really helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. See you next time.